Many of us put a good chunk of our savings into buying a house. So imagine how you'd feel if your down payment disappeared because fraudsters stole it. It's an emotionally and financially devastating scam, and the iTerm team learned it is on the rise. Two years ago, Pat and Marisa Lawler looked at 50 homes for sale. The market was tight and interest rates were low. They were outbid three times. So the Lawlers were relieved when they finally snagged a house in West Hills. It was very difficult. It was challenging. It was a seller's market and we were buyers. Uh, not much inventory to choose from. The escrow process went through without a hitch until the very end. It's like shock, like psychologically your brain is protecting yourself from the trauma of what's going on right there. Pat received wire instructions for the down payment in an email that appeared to be from the escrow agent. So he wired the money, $160,000. And then a few days later, I received an email from my escrow officer, uh, clear to close. We're all set here. Just need your down payment. But the Lawler's money was gone. The email that appeared to be from the escrow company wasn't. Instead, it was from a scammer with an email signature exactly the same as previous emails and a friendly note that addressed Pat by name. We were just trusting the process as we were told to do. We see this happening a lot. Dr. Clifford Newman is a computer system security expert at USC. He says the scammers likely breached the escrow company's email system. So there are a lot of vectors that an adversary could use to get their way into the email system of a small company. That might have been because an employee of theirs did something that allowed the adversary to get in. It could also be that the system itself was breached. It's called business email compromise, and the I-team learned it's a huge problem. According to FBI data, money lost to these scams, which includes down payment wire transfers, has skyrocketed over the past several years. In 2022, victims lost $3 billion. Escrow companies are required to report fraud to the state, but that does little to help victims. The money is long gone. Many escrow companies carry errors and emissions insurance, but that doesn't cover wire fraud. The I-team reached out to the Lawler's escrow company, Jade Escrow in Temple City. They didn't return our emails or phone calls. You just have to be careful. Beyond careful. The Lawlers considered suing Jade Escrow, but they didn't have the money. The scammers robbed them of their life savings. In the end, they got the house only because they borrowed the money from a family member, putting them deeper in debt. I think the mindset, there's a prevailing mindset that this is some sort of abstract thing that happens out there sometimes to some people, but it's not. It's a real thing that happens to real people, and it's devastating. Now, here are some important tips when it comes to financial transactions. Confirm wire instructions verbally with someone you've worked with. Don't rely on an email. If you are asked in an email to call for wire instructions, only call a number you know and never email any of your financial information. It's not secure.